Hi Leo, how are you doing? Welcome to your reading. This is a love reading and I will try to get as many details as possible for your current situation and for your situation in the near future. I want to start with what is your next connection? The nearest connection for you. Who are they? So, who is this person that you will be connecting with in the near future? Queen of Wands reversed. Maybe a fire sign, another fire sign. Aries, another Leo or Sagittarius. They have lots of passion and desire here. There may be some age difference here, but this person tends to be somehow stubborn. They don't want to change their mind very easily. Either there's an age difference here or they are very mature for their age. Very focused, very determined. Now let's see about their approach to the connection with you. In the best case scenario, I see them gradually opening their attraction towards you not declaring it immediately. And uh, on something that I want to notice here with this Queen of Wands reversed is the tendency this person may have to just rush into showering you with attention, attraction, love, admiration, becoming very charming, but then going cold. That is something to look out for. If that happens, it needs to be discussed. Just keep this in mind. Don't let this person push any buttons at you that may not help the connection, may trigger you. I mean, I don't like a tendency here to be inconsistent, unreliable. And with this Emperor, this energy seems quite mature, in fact, but paired with the Queen of Wands reversed. I think it is coming because this is a person that wants their way. Always their perspective. That is something to notice if this happens always. But I want to view more details. Let's see what is your energy in that connection. Page of Pentacles, the Hangman. You will start this slowly. You will start this as a friendship. Maybe you will get to know this person as friends or the communication will be friendly in the beginning or it will start gradually. There may need to be some dates or getting to know each other before having some affection. Something is holding you here. I do believe that you are coming from a relationship that did affect you emotionally, changed your perspective on love and gave, gave you some pessimism. And uh, you try to, to not be so optimistic or having big ideals. You think you are with the feet on the ground and being practical, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting that you are so looking back into the past. Just be aware of this. Let's see about the connection. Okay, it may be either you talking to each other from social media or dating apps or traveling and meeting each other. This person may leave at a distance. There may be some distance involved here. It's quite interesting that this starts slowly, but it picks up very fast to a moment and stage where you can't stop thinking about each other and are thinking about the future, thinking about something more serious here. And let's see about this person more.
So what about this person? They do have feelings. They want to be in a relationship. But this is not the person that opens up completely. They need validation. Confirmation of your feelings and love. So that's what I'm getting. So as a summary here for your next relationship, I see you gradually uh, moving to this relationship, maybe starting this as friends. And uh, then uh, this communication picks up uh, very fast. Sorry for the noise. So that's what I'm getting. Just be aware of this person not being uh, consistent with you. Now let's continue with... Let's continue with the person that is on your mind. Let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious. You want to make things right with this person, but they seem quite immature. You want a new beginning, but you want something serious, not a one-sided connection. Let's see about the challenges of the past. Okay, the communication was problematic, them being quite cold, detached, harsh. What about how do you view this connection? You think it is toxic, unhealthy, but very intensive, very passionate. You're hoping for some communication to happen, or at least the person that did something wrong, wrong needs to apologize here. But you fear that that ending may be repeated if it was restarted. It ended in the worst way possible, with a Ten of Swords, very hurtful, the pain may still be there, and you have some fears that this may still be the case if you gave them right now the second chance or the other chance. What is the advice for you? Reflect more. Now... You have feelings here, but you need more reflection. You have feelings, but can this be long-term and happy? I think that it needs two people here to work together. It is a teamwork, not a one-sided connection to make this long-term and happy. Because, okay, they do not need to be that harsh and cold and detached. You have feelings here, but reflect more. Not because you have feelings, you should jump into a connection with them, because it may make you unhappy and the relationship not happy long term. So there's a reflection needed here. What about this person that is on your mind? Six of Pentacles, five. They have thought about uh, trying to connect with you, but either there were dramas happening or they fear the dramas happening. This person thinks about being with you. Okay, you make them happy. That's why they want to be in a relationship with you, but they are just ignoring you right now because they fear you will start criticizing them and be very dramatic towards them. And that's why they are not talking. Yes, they want to reconcile. That's what I'm getting here. If this reading resonated with you, and if you want to know more details about this person that is on your mind, and your energies as well, I will continue with more details in the extended video. Thank you for watching. See you at the next uh, reading, and bye for now.